Hey guys, it's Jess. Welcome to Hunk of Burning Reviews. I only have a couple videos left. I'm so excited. I love talking to you guys. But my throat starts to hurt after a while. I should probably spread them out instead of doing, you know, five, six a day. Sometimes more. But anyway, this is the video. And it is a click and play. Pretend makeup for kids. Which I think is super cute. I never learned how to put on makeup. So that's why when you see me, I'm not looking the best when I have makeup on. <laughs> so let me just start out. I will show you everything. And then I'll go back and talk about them. Um, first, we have this pack of brushes. Then we have Compact. Uh, either blush or foundation. A little fake lip gloss. And I really like how subtle they are with um, the logo. Like, you'll realize it's there, but it just reminds you of, like, the real stuff that you buy that has their logos right there. It's, you know, just, I guess it's the norm, so I really like it like that. I like the, how they have it in the white as well. It stands out. It's really cool. And this one. So I'm going to start with lip gloss. Like I said, it looks like that. And it does kind of feel like the real thing. Maybe a little bit. Let me get closer. Get closer, guys. But, um... It kind of feels like the real thing, but you can tell, you know, that it's a fake. When you open it up, it has the little, just like real lip gloss, and the ball even moves around, which is super cool. I like how they put that detail in there, how, you know, it moves around. The cap goes on really well. You know when to stop turning it. Like I said, the logo is nice and prominent. You can see it. I like the color scheme, even though I'm not really a pink kind of person. It's for my kids anyway. But I, I actually do like this color scheme. The pink is not too in your face. The white pops. And the black just brings it all together. I love how they put those together. I think, like I said, I think this is really cool because the ball moves and it, you know, it does look like it a lot, I guess. <laughs> this is next, eyeshadow. And I think this is really cool. They all open. And it even has a little eyeshadow brush with it. I don't know if you could actually really use this brush, but it looks kind of cool. And then they have the little fake eyeshadow in here. So the little kids would be... <laughs> I don't know why I did that sound effect. That was not a great sound effect for what I was doing, but you know. <laughs> But yes, it all just fits right in here. I like the cute little colors they chose. And it feels so cool when you touch them. And like I said, I really love that it opens and closes just like real makeup. That is always a great thing. This is the blush of the foundation. I'm not quite sure. Again, it opens. You can see it. Make your own decisions. It has, I don't know if you can hear it. That's how it feels. Um, it kind of really does look like foundation. But yeah, I like how it feels. I know it's not foundation because there is a foundation, so it has to be blush. 
So yeah, they just no sound effects that time. Sorry. All right, and what I was just talking about, the foundation. Let's see if I can. There we go. <laughs> and it has some bits of a mirror on there. Super cool. <laughs> it has this super cool pad that even has the little finger loop in there for them. I'm sure, so there's that sound effect again. I'm sure that the little kids, though, can stick in a couple fingers. I cannot. I'm an adult. But yes, here is the foundation, the mirror, and the little pad to. Hopefully, my real foundation does not get off onto the pad. But yes, I really like how the pad's made. It looks really pretty with this almost, s not silky, but very nice feeling material in the back. I like how they have the finger hole and the mirror. I really, I'm really digging how realistic and how close they stuck to details with these. I think that is actually really awesome most toys would not go into the detail I mean makeup toys fake makeup would not go into this detail so I like I said I am really digging how detailed they are with these I think it's so cool and last but not least we have these cute brushes 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 they are this long so they are perfect for little hands probably not half the size of a regular brush but shorter than a normal brush and actually I'm feeling these I don't know about this one but I'm feeling these other ones and they really do feel like real brushes. I th think you could actually use these three as real brushes. I mean, if you could feel them, they feel just like the ones I own. They don't seem to be shedding much hair at all, bristles, whatever you call it. Yeah, I mean, these do look like real brushes. This one looks like a real brush. Um, now that I feel it more, I think you actually could use this for, uh, yeah, eyeshadow. They are all really, really cool. Like I said, I mean, I've never seen pretend makeup brushes that were actually, you know, real. I think that is really awesome. No, I mean, the handles aren't the best. They look a little cheap, but they are awesome because they are flat down here and they get bigger up here. And it does not seem like I'm going to be, they're going to be able to break these at all. I mean, I'm sure if they stepped on them just right, they could probably break them. But yes, these seem like actual makeup brushes, and I think that is super cool. Especially, you know, when they're going to be getting older, they're going to be learning how to do their makeup for real. And I think if they had the brushes that actually feel like real brushes, that it might help them figure out how to put the things together and put the makeup on and all that fun stuff. But yes, this is Click and Play uh, Pretend Makeup Set. It is awesome. You just saw everything in it. Ooh. And I think the kids will love this. I know that my girls are going to love this. 
They're going to go crazy over it. I like that it has this mesh bag that, I mean, everything came separately, but I just put it all in this bag. I'm assuming that it's supposed to be the makeup bag. And it just closes like this. You can see everything through it. I love it. They even sent in this cute little polka dot envelope inside another envelope. It was super cute. I'm like, what? But yes, I absolutely love these. They have so much detail. They took the time to make sure that everything was right. I can't wait to see my girls playing pretend makeup. I do have a teenager now. She's not putting makeup on yet. I'm not allowing it. <laughs> so she's just going to have to have fun with this set until it's time. I'm going to put the link down below. I'm going to have a blog post on this. Twitter, Facebook, all that stuff. You already know. Um, make sure that you check out the link below. Especially if you have girls that are getting to that age where they need to start learning makeup. This would be, I think, a great way to start teaching them how to apply it. Great for the younger girls that want to do like mommy. I mean, anything, probably any kind of girl would enjoy something like this. At that age, though, I think I was playing in the dirt. Oh, well. <laughs> if you have a child that would enjoy something like this and wants to be like mommy or, you know, is getting older and needs to learn, like I just said, sorry for repeat myself, then yes, please check out this link below. This is an awesome set, probably the best set I have ever seen or owned. And like I said, they're going to love it. I cannot wait for them to start playing with it so I can watch them. But yes, let's click and play. Like I said, I will leave the link down below. Go check us out all over. Leave comments. We would very much appreciate comments, likes, whatever. I hope everyone had a safe and happy Thanksgiving. And have a great day. Bye, guys.